Hello, good day and welcome back. Um, so this is chapter 3, section 4 of Go Language Programming. And today we're going to be talking about slices. We're going to look at how to create them, which we saw in the previous video. But we're really going to get into what they are actually. And um, we'll make them so good we can eventually get to some of those in the other videos, that some of the additional benefits. But we really focus on how you create them and what they are when you say you create a slice of an array or slices of an array. Um, so let's get started. As you can see there, I have links to two pieces of documentation. One of them is in specification and the other one is a blog post. So like I said, the documentation, um, the two links I provided, um, one to the specification on slices. And as you can see, a slice is a array without a size. Again, slice is an array without a size and the element type. So it looks just like how you would declare an array except that you relieve out the size. But what we said with arrays before is that the size become um, part of the array type. So two arrays with different sizes, even if they have the same element type, um, are different. So let, let's do this. So here I'm in my um, command line and my, my editor and all I have is um, main that go here that looks like this. And so we can do var um, and let's go um, num um, var t is equals to an array of 10 element integers and we're going to put some numbers inside of it. And let's create a second um, array and we'll call this one nums. And instead of putting the type, um, the size, I'm going to put three dots. Um, come on. Um, put three dots. Okay, like that. And then, um, of course, I'm going to just print them out. FMT that print uh, F and I want to do nums. Um, percent by and V and so that says to print out um, in a go type with basically shows the type and the value so this is T and this is of course T and so let's see when we run this so I'm gonna let this save by itself in a few seconds there and that's good and I'm gonna say go run main and uh, what I want to show you is what this look like here Notice how for both nums, array, and t, the type is an array of 10 elements of int. So we can say that num and t have the exact same type as you can see here. There's a 10 element array of integers. Now notice how num was defined with this, w, this ellipsis. And all that do is telling go that I don't want to count I want you to do the content for me. Now remember, we can always figure out the length of an array or a slice, which we're going to cover later, but we saw in the previous video, by using the length function. So let's say, for example, I wanted to stick a few numbers in here. Um, I really don't have to worry about how many I type and keeping track of them um, and updating this because Go is going to do the content for me and then give me an array appropriate type. Um, whereas if I did stick some numbers in here, um, I couldn't do that kind of blindly because um, I'll have to go back and start to figure out just how long is my array now. And so if we try to compile this, we'll see that the two things are not the same, that you know what, the array index 10 is out of bounds for the size that I'm using here. I'll have to, you know, bump this up a little bit. I could make it 20 and have extra zeros, um, have extra space in there, but um, okay, look like I have three excess, so really this is really 17 elements array that I really wanted. All right. And uh, yeah, there we go, 17 elements array is all, what it is. Um, but you see, I didn't have to worry about changing the size in the bottom one. So let's just stick with an array declaration that looks like, um, like this. Now, having extra... Um, comma the end is okay. Um, no big deal with that. Um, go format removes it, but um, no big deal. All right, so there we are, we're back to 10 element array and it's being calculated for us. Now, the thing that I wanna do though, is I wanna talk about how you create slices. Remember, this section is about how to create slices. So I'm gonna create a variable first before I do a section called mid, 
and it's going to take the length of nums array remember we could create the thing and divide by two so now i'm finding um how many array divided by two so in this case it's 10 divided by two is five so mid is five here if array was 11 mid would still be five because i'm dividing an odd number and i'm doing integer division so i don't have decimal point right anyway we want to create three slices i'm going to create a slice s0 s1 and s2 and i'm going to show you how those are going to be created now now i want to create my first slice so i'm going to say s0 is my first slice is equals to take this array and slice it and i'm going to slice this by not providing a lower range and the upper um, range and so what it looks like is basically um, my array is, da, 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 um, I want to do this, it's basically like that, right? Um, so this is a slice of the original array num, but it's all the elements of that array. So the slice contain the exact point to the entire array um, or contain the exact same numbers that are in my, my array. And, you know, we can print that out if we, you know, to see what's going on there. And... So S0, and this is S0, and S0 is equals to nums, you know, slice this way. And if we wait till that save and then print it out, uh, oh, well, I didn't use mid yet, but um, what I wanted to do is also create um, var slice one is equals to nums lower half of this array and mid and of course i'm going to slice it and get the upper part of that array so i'm going to create a slice two and it's going to start from mid and not specify the ending and of course we know what that's going to look like please that please that this one contains the floor five and this guy contains the upper five right and i'm going to copy this and going to be slice one slice two and slice one slice two print those out and this is mid but instead of using the variable mid here i'm going to say what it actually is which is length of nums um, divided by two right and this guy it starts from le uh, length of nums divided by two which we know in this case is five and so um let's print this out now um, and so we can see that here is nums and its type is 10 array of 10 elements of int. Here is S1 and its type is just huh, slice of int. And this is also a slice of int, slice of ints. So we can tell that S, we can say that S1, S0, S1, and S2, all three of those slices have the same type, even though they contain different number of elements, right? And that's going to be important that the fact that when you create a slice of a type, um, it can point to different numbers. Okay, it means that oh, you're going to get some benefits later on we're going to talk about um, in other videos. I don't want to introduce too many new things in one video. So it's just important to know that um, the size is absent from the slice and the slice can still point to different number of elements, unlike an array. Okay. And so... Um, what we really want to do though is try to see uh, oh and you know we can of course we don't have to slice it that way we can um, create another slice like var s3 for example equals nums and I can slice it you know three and seven and that basically st start at three and you know end at seven for uh, offset seven do not include offset seven and so this is slice three and slice three and that seven is don't include seven and that should be giving me you know zero one two three so this include three four five six so these are the elements i'm gonna be talking about all right and if i let that save and then run it uh f3 declare but not use that's because i need to change this um, I'll say save and there we go all right and like I said nine five ten and two and that's because seven is not included but thing 
So that's all you create slices. And I know I said that though in the objective, we talk about all you create slices for us, and then we're gonna look at what slices really are. So let's look at that now. So I'll bring in my PowerPoint here, and I'll put it in the presentation mode. And so we, we saw these two areas and saw that they are alike. And then we look at creating slices. We look at create, or you create those um, slices there, and they point back to the same array. But what is really going on? And so when you create a slice, as in S0, it has, it's like a, its own data structure, and it has a reference or a pointer to the array, the underlying array, and then it says, hey, where's my offset and my length? So in S0 here, we're saying that our S0, that slice S0, starts at offset 0 in the nums array. And of course, since it doesn't have, the ending is also the end of a uh, thing, then the length of it is the entire array. Now there's some more information that's also um, in part of the slice, but I'm leaving that out for another video, I'm gonna talk about it. And so it's equivalent as if this slice S0 sort of um, has visibility to that part of the array. I remember it's pointing to the same array. When I create a slice S1, I'm pointing to the same exact underlying array. And of course now my offset is zero, but look at my length, my length is five. So I could only access five elements starting at this offset, offset zero, one, two, three, four. Of course it ends at five. So these are the five elements I can access. And of course, if I wanna make changes to this element here, which is offset three, there are three ways I can get to it. I can get it at offset three in the nums array. I can get it as offset three in the S0 slice. And I can get to it at offset you know, three in the S1 slice. So those two slices, S0 and S1 plus and the nums, of course, give me three different ways of getting at the same thing. And here is uh, S2 and it is the upper part of that array. Now let's look at something else. I, I finally did a slice S3, and I did it from offset 3 to 7. And that is what this might look like. And now, I still can get to this element here, the same previous three ways I talked about, which is offset 3 in the nums array, offset 3 in the S0 and S1 array, because those, um, those two slices and the arrays cover that range. But here, I can get to this same element at offset zero in the S3 array, okay? In the S3 slice array, right? And so, of course, offset one in S3 slices is here. So each slice then have its own offset, but notice you can't use like a negative anything below zero to get to any earlier thing because in Go, arrays and slices, the index must be zero or more. And of course, there's a bound to it, even for slices. So for the upper bound for the slice, it's gonna be zero, one, two, three. That's the upper bound of it. Got the length is four, right? And the index is ours one less than the length, the valid index or upper bound. And exact same thing goes for these slices. The index here is gonna be zero, one, two, three, four, one less than the length, right? So it still operates just like an array with um, bones checking on the low and upper um, bones, and you cannot go beyond that. So why use slices? Well, it looks exactly like an array, doesn't it? It behaves exactly like an array. You have all the benefits on our array. You have nothing, there's nothing you can do with an array that you can't do with a slice, right? And so they have the exact same benefits. And so we're going to see in future videos, I'm not talking about the additional benefits that a slice gives you, but maybe you can kind of get it, see it now, that since I can have these things that point to the underlying array, it means that I can probably operate on, I can, not probably, I can operate on the array indirectly, which means that when it comes to, if I have a really big array and I want another function to do some operation on it, instead of me passing a copy of that array or a pointer to that array, I can just create a slice to the part I want that function to, function to work on or the entire array, pass that in, and that function can work on the underlying array and I don't have to, have to copy the array in. So this is one of the benefits, there are other benefits also. 
And so we will look at those in um, the next video, but I want to make this one nice and short and not too long and don't introduce too many ideas. So definitely check it out, play with it, uh, comment, and see you in the next video. Thanks for your time. Continue to follow and spread the word. Take care. Bye.